Man, lights have come a long way. Yo, Darius Bird here. Falcon Eyes sent me this 360 degree flexible, rollable waterproof LED lighting panel. In short, it's a roll flex lighting panel. This is the Falcon Eyes RX 36 TDX. This guy is 47 inches tall and 18 inches wide. I think this is their biggest light. It's also bi-color. You can do tungsten and daylighting with this, ranging from 3000K all the way up to 5600. It's also dimmable. 47 inches, that's a big light source, right? That means you're gonna get very soft lighting. The bigger the light source, the softer the light. You can also use this as a key light, a fill light, or a rim light. This is a 240 watt light. That's a lot of punch for a flex light. It gets pretty bright. The CRI is like 95, I believe. So that means the color rendering is fairly accurate. Since I've used it, I have not seen any funky color shifts. So I'd say that's about right. In the kit, you get the LED panel, diffusion, honeycomb. You can reduce the beam angle with this, a bezel for the light, metal frame, a metal light stand adapter, Velcro, as you can tell, I've used these already and also Velcro quarter straps for attaching the light to a ceiling, a control unit with a V-mount for higher end batteries. You can't power this bad guy with cheap NPF style batteries. You're gonna have to either use a V-mount battery or wall power. You can hang the control box off the knuckle of a C-stand or a light stand with this. The control panel features an LCD touchscreen, but you can still make adjustments via analog. An AC adapter, this thing is a brick. It also comes with a Wi-Fi adapter for a remote. The remote is sold separately. It is not included in the kit. On the back of the LED panel, you've got Velcro. You can use adhesive straps to Velcro this thing anywhere, like a ceiling. The first day I got this bad boy, I stuck it to a ceiling to test out some lighting. If I want to emulate a skylight, then I'm pulling this light out and I'm probably going to tape it to the ceiling. If I want to emulate, you know, window light pouring through a window, then I'm going to pull this light out and I'm going to tape it to a window, just like we got here. The panel is so light, you can tape it to anything for the most part and it'll hold. If you tape the LED light to a window, you get the added benefit of being able to use whatever blinds you have to help sell the fact that it may be sunlight coming through a window. Now, if I just wanna dump a lot of light into a room, I'm pulling this guy out. I could also see using it for interviews, but those are my uses. You might have totally different needs. Sponsor. If you're looking to build a website for yourself or your project, you really want to keep the process as painless as possible. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. You can start a free Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com forward slash D for Darius. If you use the coupon code D for Darius, you will get 10% off of your first purchase. Squarespace is an all in one platform, so you're never going to have to deal with any plugins, patches, or updates. They've also got round the clock 24 7 customer support 365 days a year the website built for the next short film it's coming along okay it's taking me uh, a little longer than it might take you guys you could probably build a site in a few days but for me I'm doing like 90 other things but it's coming it's coming I've got the bare bones going <laughs> I've still got a lot of work to do on the BTS videos part but we're getting there as far as the short film we're doing ADR we're doing Foley we're almost picture locked so that's coming along. Again, you can start your free trial at squarespace.com forward slash D for Darius. And if you use the D for Darius coupon code, you will get 10% off of your first purchase. Now, if I'm considering using a new light or a camera or anything for that matter, I'm looking for two things, build quality and ease of use. Build quality for obvious reasons, right? You don't want the thing falling apart on you. Ease of use. I avoid big crews when I can and I work alone a lot when I shoot small projects. So for me, if I'm gonna use a light, it's gotta fit in my trunk or my back seat. If it doesn't fit in my car, I'm not using it. Considering how big of a light source this is, it fits in my trunk with all of my other gear. That's huge. I do not care how good a light is. If it takes forever to set up, I'm not happy. I'd rather be spending that time shooting or rehearsing. I can get this guy set up in five minutes. Look at this case. Can we talk about this case? <laughs> That's gonna do the job. Got the ballast, power cable, wire frame, light, light adapter, bezel, AC adapter. Set the stand up. So the first thing I usually do is set the frame up if I'm gonna use the light on a frame because it's way easier to 
set the light up on the frame itself. I can use gravity when I'm hanging the light so that it's easier to get these bottom legs in. Slip these bad boys in, the top little sleeves. I can push in and slip it right on the frame. So the locking cable situation right here, very secure connection. I've had lights before that did not have a setup like this and you know, you accidentally pull it out. So one switch is for battery and one switch is for wall power. Touch, touch. Booyah. So the bezel just wraps right around the back of the light, just like so. With the Velcro back here, we don't really get any light leaks. Pretty clean seal. And it's also got these grooves in over here at the top so that things like cables and the frame can fit through. Let's throw some diffusion on there. Throw the egg crate on there too. Five minutes, six minutes, minus me talking. And we're all good to go. This. Easy to set up. I can do this. So who is this light for? This is not for a hobbyist. The light's not cheap. You buy a light like this when you're running a business and you're generating some type of income. Narrative, documentary, and commercial filmmaking, maybe music videos, definitely. Portable, it's versatile. You can tuck and tape it in all kinds of places. YouTubers? This is a bit extreme for YouTube use. I mean, you're not gonna use a light like this for vlogs. Falcon Eyes makes smaller versions as well. You should probably look into that. If you compare this light to some other brands like Westcott, you're getting a deal. This panel is four by two feet and it's only like 850-ish dollars. A one foot by one foot panel by Westcott, which is like about this much on this panel, is about the same price. Yeah, yeah. This kit is built to last, the materials are solid. If you're at the point where you can afford to invest in gear like this, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you wanna pick this guy up and give it a try, links are below. And as always, thank you for watching, Deebert out. Spinning